I'm a recent college graduate, Rusty Featherstone. It turns out that the real world has some pretty spooky stuff in it, and I'm looking to go back to school, I think. I'm starting a countrywide journey to find where I want to go back to school. I'm starting here in the University of Colorado at Boulder. I'll be judging each school using six distinct categories. Sports, bars, Greek life, academics, food, and traditions. Each category can earn a maximum of five points for a total of 30, and the school will need a 21 in order to pass. They're unpredictable, they're still a wild animal, kind of like your ex-wives. <laughs> Turkey over here. Nature's Dorito. We got bull balls. <laughs> bull balls? Who was the sick puppy that decided to try cooking the balls first? What does it taste like? Gizzard. Gizzard. Is Gizzard this? The, on the no, chicken? No, Gizzard's just the chicken. Uh, how's the tongue? Is that hard to bite It's, it's even more like uh, Gizzard is. <laughs> is there not like semen in the balls? <laughs> Go up to Severance and order them. They got good cold beer. I, I, I can't eat one. I, 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 I literally cannot do it. Not how I thought I was going to be starting the food review, but I guess we're starting it with some testes. The first place we went to has bison testicles, and uh, we're going to give it a shot. Do I dip it in the cum? <laughs> <laughs> Is there cum inside of it already? Tastes like gizzard. <laughs> You know what? You ever seen that experiment where like they put a rubber hand down and they convince it that if someone's hand then they hit the hand with it? Like my balls hurt. It felt like someone was biting into them when I bit into this guy's balls. Also he didn't deserve this, man. So far the food in Boulder is really strange. I don't think it's totally fair to judge the entire town's cuisine just off of full Tesco, so we're gonna check out the sink which apparently is just a regular burger. Brian's gonna show us how to make the famous sink burger. I should not have had McDonald's at midnight last night. One of the important things is to get the diamond grid. And that goes with sink burgers, to steaks, to, to get cheddar and pearl bologna, jalapenos, chipotle aioli, and then our Texas straws. Yep, that's it, sink burger. Get a shot. It's an explosion in my mouth. I think I might move to Boulder. Almost so scrunch. You hear that? You heard that. Don't know what it is. Maybe the lettuce. Maybe it's the pickles. I don't ask questions. I just think I just eat this sink burger. This place specifically is a perfect five, but I've only had two meals here and one of them was genitalia. Up until this point, I had rarely had testicles in my mouth. And when I did, I never bit down. And I ran into some Boulder natives having some car trouble on my way out. They taught me about the music culture here. Take for life, baby! I don't know what just happened, but that was... In order to gauge the academic rigor of this university, I sat down with one of the school's top professors to talk about books, deep space, and what it's like to be the smartest men in every room we walk into. This could be one of the most important interviews in the history of astrophysical and planetary sciences, so I spent almost two hours of my afternoon planning for it. I'm here with Professor Schneider. He's a professor of astrophysical and planetary sciences. So I did a lot of research on you. By that, I only read the comments on Ray, my professor, but there was only <laughs> one student who claims that your class was easy. This student said best class ever and gave you a 1.0 for difficulty. Any guesses who the student was? It would have been Joshua. Wrong, it was actually, this student grew up to be Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Here's one from this afternoon, actually. I've never taken one of his classes, but I'm going to interview him this afternoon. I hope it goes well. Do you think this is going well? So far, so good. Okay, so my neighbor growing up was this guy, Mr. Hancock, and he was supposed to, this is no joke, was supposed to be the first man on the moon. Do you think we actually went to the moon? <laughs> um, uh, the moon has been so thoroughly explored by so many nations. The Indian spacecraft that just arrived uh, a month ago has taken photographs of I didn't know the, the craft that we left behind on the surface of the moon. So you know everything there is to know about stars. My ex-girlfriend, she was an Aquarius. Do you think that's why it didn't work out? This happens to me all the time. <laughs> you're, you're sitting there on the airplane uh, and the guy says, Astrology. They so, get it mixed up with astrology. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Astrophysicists have beef with each other in the same way that like '90s rappers did. Like, do you and Bill Nye like trade jabs? Um, uh, in 2013, this is another one of your students. He said that you're really good at explaining hard concepts, and I was wondering if you'd walk me through one that I've been struggling with. Why is the dark so scary? Boy, uh, I've never gotten that question before, <laughs> and I'd say it's the lack of information. What is dark matter, and should I be afraid of that too? Either you know subatomic particles that we haven't counted up yet that may not matter in the grand scheme of things. Or they might not matter. 
Oh. oh. In layman's terms, just explain parallel universes. There is the multiverse idea that at every possible... Here's a fun one. Do you think that there's one where my ex-girlfriend and I are still together? Is she still in Aquarius? Yeah, she's still in Aquarius. Okay. Well, there's probably one where she's not in Aquarius. That one we're together? Yeah, I think so. Do you think she still loves me in this one? No. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for coming. Do you wanna do you wanna Voodoo Ranger? Hey man, I'm on duty. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna. Ha okay. Historically, every great mind has had a vice. Hemingway liked to drink. Jane Goodall liked to play with monkeys, and I like to party. They were spotted James, and it's electric. I've ever seen, let me tell you. to the Spotted James last night, which was the second bar. I didn't like it as much as the Sundown Saloon, so I think it's gonna bring the score down a little bit, but not a ton. I think we're at like a three and a half to a four, maybe even a, th maybe even a three. It's somewhere in the three, four range. These bars are taking their number on me. Taking their, taking their number? I will say these bars are taking their toll on my body more so than than other places. Not sure what that's all about, um, but we will see you guys shortly. I've had two beers and I immediately feel better. The energy's high. There's a guy who's addicted to saying go box, which I'm loving. And, uh, and and you'll see what I'm talking about. Go box. He just says, go box to rent. Just could not stop saying in his sleep, go box, go box. An underwhelming first wave. I believe that was the basketball team. Let's go, Bucks! Over 55 and a half points. I don't think it's gonna hit. Might have to bail him out financially. I love you, Phil, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Hey, how's your experience today? I right, um, I mean, I'm from TCU, so I was there. To, I was out for revenge for Dion. I was gonna try to tackle him on the field, make a scene, but after being there, he quelled the storm inside my heart, and I, I was rooting for the buffs by the end of it. But I was trying to assassinate him. Get a shot of this guy's calves. Are they insane? No, they're pretty scary. No, they're insane. They weren't scoring as much as we thought. There's a lot of camaraderie. The stadium was built for a team that doesn't win a bunch of football games and now it's just overcrowded. I'm gonna go three out of five for sports. Unfortunately, as much as I love Dion, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yo, UberTube, I think episode number 27 or so, and I got a, I think I got a big interview here. What is this, Beer dot Fridays? Friday beer. Oh, with all the beer you're drinking, uh, sometimes that, the liver, the liver will deliver, so here's some bison liver. <laughs> I had bison testicles yesterday. Me too. <laughs> Where the heck did you get bison testicles from? The dark horse. Uh, they might be one of my competitions for supply. Yeah, yeah. Who, who knew? All right, the next category that we're examining to try and figure out what this school's all about is traditions. We heard that chilling at the Ebb and G Park, people like to come do. We're gonna check it out, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it for you. Well, I'm trying to conquer my stage fright down in that pool in front of those girls. Caroline's gonna uh, introduce you guys to some nice people. I'm trying to ask people, like, what are the traditions? 
traditions in Boulder? Corey, what are some traditions in Boulder? I don't know. You can go down the two fucking shoddy one. Yeah. It's got a little life jacket. I want the four! It's a party song! Fucking scope bomb! Boulder's all about an adventure and everyone just gets crazy, has a good time. You can go hiking, but you can bring an IPA. Everyone in Boulder and Colorado likes EDM, hiking, and motherfucking IPAs. <laughs> I love it's Boulder! We love so Boulder! Bad. Guess what I'm doing right now? You'll never guess. You'll never guess what I'm doing right now. The end. Do you guys like Voodoo Ranger? Oh, I love it. We no. love like tubing. So um, that's why we came up here for the tubing stuff. Why did you decide to come here? Oh, we thought there was beer. No, not over here right now. It's enough chest for the people. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished the tradition segment. There weren't a ton of people here, and then I got nervous around the people that were here. Um, I'm going to go three out of five. Really chill vibes, but uh, nothing crazy. I've been nervous for as long as I can remember. There is one place, however, where all my fears wash away and my dreams become a reality. It's a tranquil place filled with balance and laughter. It's a perfect meadow where the air is thick with brotherhood. I say, let's go! Take it back, delete it, delete it. All right, we're moving on to the Greek life portion of our review. Things are looking good so far. Everyone here is very nice. I know I've said that a bit. I'm not trying to be redundant, but they are. I think Boulder is the friendliest city in the world. We'll see you guys in a little bit. So it was nice to be with my brethren. They were very accommodating to me, expelling some bodily fluids from my body, which was nice. I had a fantastic time. I'm gonna go five out of five for being <laughs> I learned a lot about myself during my stay in Boulder, Colorado. I learned that the natives don't let any part of a buffalo go to waste when cooking it. I learned that Boulder is chock full of rich traditions. I learned about the most outer rims of our galaxies and that my ex-girlfriend and I are not gonna be getting back together. I learned what having a good football team does for a city. And most importantly, I learned that the people of Boulder, just like me, are looking for one thing and one thing alone, a good time. Critics will say that my grading system is deeply flawed and not based in reality. Semantics. When the dust settled, CU Boulder earned a 23 and a half, which is a passing grade. If you're a bright-eyed youngster and you're applying to colleges, I highly recommend you add this one to your list. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High.